Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Troy and today we are continuing the Forza Horizon 5 Rally Series. So, in the last episode, we took the Ferrari 430 down the rally course, and it ended up being our fastest mid-engine slash rear-wheel drive vehicle. So, I thought today we're going to choose the competitor, which of course is this, the Lamborghini Huracan. It is also rear-engined or mid-engined, and it is an Italian supercar. So we're going to build this thing to S1 class, um, it is already in S1 class, so we're pretty much just going to be um, preparing this thing to go off-road. If you've not seen this series before, then all of the vehicles have to keep their stock drivetrain, um, all of the vehicles have to be S1 class, and they're all running the rally tyre compound as well. Um, so we can go for an engine swap if we need a bit of extra PI, otherwise I like to stick with the standard engine, so we don't need any more PI in this thing. It is all-wheel drive, which gives it a little bit of an edge over the Ferrari. Uh, Ferrari was rear-wheel drive. Um, this thing, I'm not sure if it's turboed naturally. Um, I don't even know what engine they're in these. I'm thinking the V10 out of the Audi R8. Uh, comment below if you know. We can go for a, a Liberty Walk wide body kit on this thing, but I don't think we're going to do that since we're taking it off road. Um, let's have a little look at what we can do to the front of this thing. I didn't actually think there was going to be that many um, bumper modifications. We want as much ground clearance as we can possibly get. So I'm going to avoid putting anything that adds like splitters on and things. We can go for a massive wing on the back. Just going to increase drag so we're not going to bother with that. The diffuser again makes it lower so we're not going to bother with that. And the same with the skirt there. So we're just going to leave it standard. Um, as I said, all the vehicles are running the rally tyre compound. Now known as the off-road tyre compound. Uh, previously the rally tire compound in horizon 4 um, so we're going to fit it with that and we're going to go for the fattest tires we can get all round what can we get on there three four fives they are some big tires now this thing does have um, quite big wheels i'm guessing they're about 18 19 inch um, so obviously that isn't going to soak up the bumps massively well but the Ferrari did better than I thought it was going to. So we'll see what we can get away with this. We're going to go ahead and upgrade all the transmission. We'll go for a six-speed. We'll go for the carbon fibre drive shaft. And of course, we want a rally differential. So we can do a bit of tuning on this thing. Um, we can go ahead and fit this with off-road springs and dampers, believe it or not. It looks very weird to see a lifted Lamborghini, I have to admit. Um, we'll go ahead and lighten it as much as possible. How much do we weigh now? So previously 3,400 pounds, and now 2,700 pounds. So we move quite a lot of weight there, nearly 700 pounds, which is quite a bit. I'm not going to go for any anti-roll bars or anything like that. Um, I want this thing nice and loose, if possible. Uh, now, engine-wise, we start off with 600 horsepower, standard engine. Um, I'm not sure whether we want to go too much more than that. We have obviously got all-wheel drive, so we'll be able to get that power to the ground much, much better. This thing sounds pretty good already. But we'll go for an exhaust upgrade. Why not? Let's go ahead and upgrade the ignition. Might as well just slap everything on that we can. So we're now up to 735 horsepower. Um, so a little bit more horsepower. A lot less weight. We've lifted the car quite a bit. I'm wondering whether we should actually go for the wide body. So lifted with the wide body 
it does look a bit more off-roady, I guess. But I'm not a huge fan, so we're going to leave it off. Uh, we didn't go for a wide body on the Ferrari, and I want to see how this thing compares to that car. So I'm going to go ahead and tune this thing now, and we'll put a nice racing vinyl wrap on it as well. And I'll meet you guys out on the rally course to see what we can do in the Huracan. Okay, here we go for our first attempt in the Lamborghini Huracan. Let's see how it goes. It launches very, very nicely. That all-wheel drive obviously is going to help that. It sounds absolutely fantastic as we head onto the dirt. We nearly jump over the first water splash. Got to be early on the brakes with this thing. The brakes are not fantastic. But I have to say, this thing is coping very, very well in the beginning here. A little bit wide on that corner, but that's okay. This is our first attempt of three, so we're going to get two more attempts to put down a good lap time. This is going to be more of a feeler lap, just to see how the car is behaving off-road. But I have to say, at the moment, it feels very, very good. It feels very stable. Um, the braking isn't great, but it feels okay over the bumps. Whoops, a little bit in the... Uh, fence there let's see how we do in the hairpin here now of course it is all-wheel drive so there is a possibility for a bit of understeer but no it gets through there lovely i've biased the differential to the rear so it's about 65 percent to the rear axle so it'll behave more like a rear wheel drive car in the corners but hopefully up the hill here where we need to get the power down that all-wheel drive is going to help massively, which it does. We crest the hill at 125 miles an hour. Now, let's see how we do here. We've got a little bit of wiggling going around. That is a horrible, horrible corner there. But let's see how we do on this final couple of corners. 700 horsepower Lamborghini Huracan off-roading. It is performing mighty, mighty well, I have to say. The final stretch now down to the main road. Let's see what we can actually do. And we cross the line at a 2.06, which is going to put the Huracan way, way up the leaderboard. It has already beaten the Ferrari by quite a margin, almost 10 seconds faster than the 430 that we ran in the last episode um is there a possibility that we can beat the mercedes-benz truck which at the moment is our current uh lap time leaderboard champion that's got a two minute zero three i think there is a high potential the hurricane could be our fastest car but we've got two more attempts so let's see what we can do all right i'm used to how it handles now so let's see if we can just perfect the driving line a little bit see if we can get the gears a bit more correct i've learned that we have to brake early but maybe not as early as i was doing in some places this one here we have to be very early on the brakes because the car is so low it seems to jump so the wheels are in the air so i'm on the brakes but obviously there's no wheel contacting the ground so we have no braking it will suffer a little bit through the water splashes because it is a lightweight low slung supercar but that's okay it more than makes up for that around the rest of the course this corner here most of the cars like to drift through there and of course a lamborghini is no exception let's not hit the fence on this run it still wants to pull to the left a little bit there, so I'm going to have to learn to counter steer that on our next few runs. Coming up to the hairpin, I'm going to knock it down to third for the hairpin, and we'll get a bit of a slide going, which we do. That was lovely through there. Just a little bit of oversteer to help us around there. Now, break early for the next couple of corners here. Now, up the hill is where this thing makes up most of its time. This is where some of the other two-wheel drive vehicles struggle a lot, but the Huracan has no problem there. A little bit of a bounce at the top of the hill, but that's all right. 
we managed to control it okay. Now this corner here is absolutely horrible. I hate this corner. But we handle it okay in the hurricane. A little bit wide on the exit, but that's all right. We didn't miss the checkpoint. A little bit wide coming into there. Hitting the rev limiter as well. And coming down the hill, here we go. Can we beat our previous lap time? We have beaten the previous lap time by almost a second. A 205.559. That is a good showing for the Lamborghini. Um, that puts it up to third place already above the Land Rover and the Ford Focus RS from the first episode. Uh, so it is already on the podium. Can it beat the Lamborghini LM002? Uh, let's see what we do in the final run here. All right, here we go. The third bite of the cherry. Let's see what it can do. It launches well. Let's get it up the gearbox. Let's hug those apexes nicely. That was perfect through there. Let's see if we can actually jump over the water splash. We nearly cleared a water splash. We're locking up the wheels coming into there. And I've got a third gear this time. I keep missing third in this car. I keep to the right on this water splash. Turn in early and then keep to the right on this water splash as well. It is slightly shallower. And of course, as I said in the last run, this thing is very low. So it doesn't like the water splashes. We get a little bit of oversteer there, which sees us nicely through that corner. Got a big slide through there, which is going to eat a little bit of time. But it does help us get through the corner. Now let's line it up a bit nicer. We pass through that section without touching the fence this time, which is lovely. Coming up to the hairpin, down to third gear. Let's see if we can get a bit of a slide. There we go, that does eat a little bit of time, but it is sometimes faster. We get a little bit of air on the jump, braking early for these couple of corners, turning it in nice and early as well, and then up the hill. This is where this thing absolutely shines, is up the hill. But then we have to have a big dive on the brakes at the top of the hill so we don't go off the corner. Now let's see if I can do this corner a little bit better. I'm going to break and just give it a little bit of a slide. There we go. That was perfect through there. It's bouncing around a little bit now. Don't know whether we want a third or a fourth. It is hitting the rev limiter, but fourth is making it struggle a little bit. Let's see what we can do down the hill. We're definitely faster. It's a 2-0-3. Have we beaten the Mercedes-Benz? Yes, we have. We have a new lap time leaderboard champion. The Lamborghini Huracan has beaten the Mercedes-Benz truck. But let's go to the leaderboard and have a look how it racks up. Well, there we have it, guys. The Lamborghini Huracan is our new lap time champion. A 0203.357 will put this in first place above the Mercedes-Benz truck. Only a few tenths of a second faster, but that is enough to put it in first place. The Mercedes-Benz truck has been dethroned by the Lamborghini. We've got two Lamborghinis on our podium but let's see how it racks up against some of our other uh, rear-engined vehicles. Of course, it has beaten the Ferrari and the DeLorean. They're down there in uh, 14th and 15th place. I was hoping that it would beat the Ferrari from the last episode. I am a big Lamborghini fan. I was rooting for the Lamborghini, and I think the all-wheel drive just helped this thing massively. So there we go. If you want to build a supercar to go off-road with, make sure it's a Lamborghini Huracan. But we'll be back next week with another vehicle on the rally course. But thanks all so much for watching, and until then, see you next time.